Now let's continue about the peak and respiratory pressure. We just talked about plateau pressure. Now you know when there is increase in the proximal airway pressure where there's a problem in one of these elements of this equation. Alveolar pressure, when we perform inspiratory hold maneuver, now you should know, it's called at that point plateau pressure, which is performed as we said at the end of inspiration before expiration. And plateau pressure, when we obtain it, usually equivalent to proximal airway pressure because we perform and measure it when the flow is zero now based on this we will know if the plateau pressure usually the cut off with 30 centimeter hto we try to keep it below this number <clears throat> um we'll come to that when we talk about volume trauma and uh, sorry and barrel trauma so now you know whether the problem is here or the problem is here if the problem is here we said just go back to my um, plateau pressure video either the problem with the increased tidal volume or decreased compliance and I, I mentioned the causes of those so if the problem there you need to treat the underlying if it's pulmonary edema you give lasix pulmonary fibrosis if it's an exacerbation you need to give steroids if there is a cyrus you tap it o2 peep or gas trapping will come to it and we have to solve that issue if there's a problem with very large tidal volume we need to cut down very high flow rate you need to cut down on that because flow rate you have to remember is very related to tidal volume from my previous video as well now if the problem is not here then the problem is here or here if there is very high flow rate that will lead to very high tidal volume as we said um so you just simply decrease flow rate resistance now if there is no issue here in this part then resistance resistance mainly in the airways resistance mainly airways problem like patient biting the tube so you need to sedate the patient better or a lot of secretion respiratory or airway secretions and mucus plugs let me write it better so you can more mucus plugs so you need to clear these secretions suction these secretions thin these secretions with the mucus all of this a lot of these issues we'll talk about them in my ICU course and also some on when when we talk about troubleshooting the ventilator problems and the third thing is bronchospasm or bronchoconstriction you give bronchodilators if the issue is resistant this is how you approach an elevated peak inspiratory pressure remember we want to keep the peak inspiratory pressure 35 to 40 and less centimeter HTO.